All right, so now you've read We Are the Mask, you've identified the surface topic and the true topic, but now it's time to write your own. Now, again, I kind of want to remind you if you need this pamphlet or this handout on my website, it is 1.02. But when we're talking about writing poetry, the rule is kind of that there are no rules. And I know that kind of sounds weird, but there are poems that have really strict meter and rhyme. And there are poems that are just kind of free flowing. There are poems that use a specific number of syllables. There are poems that look like paragraphs. There's really nothing strict that you have to do in order to say, hey, I wrote a poem, right? But if you'll notice, when we read We Wear the Mask, and I'll have to pull it back up again. When we read We Wear the Mask, we wear the mask that grins and lies. It hides our cheeks and shades our eyes. This debt we pay to human guile with torn and bleeding hearts we smile, right? Do you hear it? It rhymes at the end of every line and it has a very specific set of syllables. So we're gonna write our own poem. And you can choose to use that or you cannot. So what I have done is there are these lines where you are going to create your own poem that takes this concept of wearing a mask and takes this concept of hiding your true self and putting on that front and you make it your own. So you're going to write about your own mask. Okay. Now you can do several drafts. You can start something and then you can change it a little bit. You can just go with your first draft. Don't be afraid to rewrite and really make it your own because what you're going to do tomorrow is you're going to take this poem that you write and you're going to turn it into some art that we are going to post on the classroom walls or in the hallway. So make sure that you're really proud of this, that it represents you truly. So as I'm working on this, I'm going to start to write my own if my pen decides to work. I'm going to start to write my own. I'm going to think, okay, you know, what would I write for We, we Wear the Mask? So first of all, I'm going to put my name. And again, that, that's, that's going to work as my handwriting. So I want to think about, okay, how do I present myself that's different from how I am? So I'm going to kind of put over here, I'm going to do a little t-chart and think. So I'm going to put true, so I'm going to put a T, and then I'm going to put M for mask. So hmm. honestly, I'm very outgoing. Ooh, my handwriting is real rough. Very outgoing, right? I think you can tell I have a kind of crazy personality when I'm around people. But really, my true mask is I'm, my true self is I'm an introvert. Ooh, if I could spell. I'm an introvert. I like to be by myself. I like to go home. I will go home at the end of the day and crawl into my PJs and crawl into bed and not move for six hours. And then I'm good for the next day, right? So that's something that's different from the way that I present to the way that it's listed. Now, let's see. I also usually am pretty, like, chipper. Ooh. Yes, yeah, it's not going to work. Uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty happy, generally. But I actually have really strong anxiety. So that's really my true self. So maybe I'm going to stick with those two ideas. I think if I write any more, y'all will just get distracted by how you can't read it. So maybe I think about those two things. So we wear the mask. Let's think. I want to do something here about positive. So maybe we wear the mask that laughs and grins, maybe. And then in his poem, let me look back. I'm going to refer back. It hides our cheeks and shades our eyes, this debt we pay to human guile, with torn and bleeding hearts we smile and mouth with myriad subtleties. So his first line says what the mask does, and the rest of the stanza talks kind of about what's happening really. So I'm gonna put, we wear the mask that laughs and grins. Ooh. And then I'm gonna put maybe that hides the fear we have, I'm running out of space, within. Now you'll notice we wear the mask that laughs and grins, that hides the fear we have within. Within and grin rhymes. Cool. 
I didn't think too hard with that. I was thinking, mm, maybe I'll make it rhyme and within popped in my head. And I was like, sure, I'll use it. You do not have to rhyme if you don't want to. If you want to, great. But don't let that panic yourself about, oh my gosh, it has to rhyme. Okay? So we wear the mask that laughs and grins, that hides the fear we have within. I'm just going to start spitballing. Our, our eyes, because he talked a lot about eyes, so maybe I'll take that idea. Our eyes see terror. Eh, terror is a little hard. I'm actually going to, I'm going to back up. Um, I'm going to erase that. So again, don't be afraid to make changes. So maybe our eyes see trouble. Oh dear, my handwriting. Uh, our eyes see trouble. Trouble. Our eyes see trouble and feels like there should be a second one. Because when I'm reading it out loud, our eyes see trouble just feels kind of short. Our eyes see trouble and feel, maybe I will go kind of harsh. Maybe I will say despair. Spare. As we search for help. And, oh, I can't see what I'm writing because my face is in the way. As we search for help and plan, all while the mask smiles. Okay, so I'm going to take a step back. We wear the mask that laughs and grins, that hides the fear we have within. Our eyes see trouble and feel despair as we search for help, for help and plan, all while the mask smiles. Is it my favorite piece of poetry I've written? No. Does it work for what I'm looking at? Yeah. So maybe for now I'll keep moving on. Maybe I'll go back and edit it. But do you see how it's really up to what you're feeling in the moment? Poetry should kind of flow out. I don't want you stressing over the exact word that you should use on a first draft. Maybe I'll go back in and choose like, mm, maybe I don't like this idea of smiling. Maybe I'll switch that out. Or maybe I do want to keep the rhyme. So I'll kind of star these to know I have to fix that. But it's fluid. You can rewrite it. This paper can be absolutely messy and impossible to read. I don't think any of you can read what I wrote right there right now, right? But no, you are just going to have to edit it and make sure you are happy with it before you create your artwork for it, okay? So I'm gonna pause there. I don't wanna take your ideas. I don't want you to feel like you can't use an idea just because I've used it. So I'm not gonna write much more for you on screen, but I am gonna have my own poem for when you guys come back, okay? So we'll see how much this changes. But you'll do that for every single stanza. You're gonna follow each line. I've given you the lines that you need. I've given you the more sentence starters to follow his pattern, but just have fun. Express yourself, figure out, okay, how do I present myself differently to the world than I feel on the inside? And how can I represent that through poetry?